Hey everybody, it's Two Jolly Belly Bean here, and today I bring you Charm Update 41. Did you think it was ever going to happen? Because I didn't think it was going to ever happen, but it's happening right now. So, let's get to it. Except, before we get to it, I have an announcement. Is that <clears throat> I have recently moved over to... <clears throat> sorry, I also have a cold. I have moved over to using polymer clay instead of cold porcelain. So there will be a few cold porcelain charms in this video, <clears throat> but most of them will be polymer clay that I have recently made. So let me, give me a moment to gather my senses here. Okay, so we're going to start with the cold porcelain charms and these charms are not glazed um i just recently got the uh sculpey glaze for palmer clay so i might end up glazing these ones with that <clears throat> i'll be clearing my throat i'm sorry but let's start with the cold porcelain charms so the first one is much is actually like a cabochon it's just basically a gigantic M&M orange because orange is my favorite color so there's that one and then I also have this green one yeah not very good you know and then I have this bloody finger that I did around Halloween last year that's how long it's been I'm very sorry I apologize and then I have this cute little dangly teddy bear. His legs a dangle. He has little stitch marks. And then I have this jellyfish thing. He has three dangling tentacles. And then what I ended up doing with that little tiny jar is I put this cute little octopus sky on it. Don't focus on that. So this is what it turned out like. I actually really like this. I'm trying to decide on what to put inside of the bottle maybe. Or, you know, fall over. And then to go along with the tentacles, I did this tentacle and it has black like suckers on it, whatever, you're, whatever they're technically called so this one has black ones and then this one has gold ones and then to round out the poem the sorry cold porcelain charms i have this little mini strawberry not much to it and then i have this little infinity turtle guy with I guess I decided to give him like white eyes so there you have it those are the cold porcelain charms so I'm going to get into the Palmer clay charms that I did recently these are actually within the past week so the first one is this balloon animal I've seen these all over the place and they're so cute. So I did this one and then I did a smaller version of that one. So I thought those were really cute and I've always seen them all over the place. And then the next thing is the chili pepper from Plants vs. Zombies which is always so cute. I don't know why. I thought he's adorable so... I decided to make him with his crazy eyes and then I made this little stalk of corn um, it's corn season where I live so maybe that was the inspiration don't quite know I really like it though I used this little um, picture tutorial that I found on Google to make it and it was really helpful and then this orange tabby cat little tail and then I made 
this little elephant who's supposed to kind of be like tree chunks from Adventure Time. I really like the color. This cute little teal color. And then I made a couple of uh, fox charms because my one of my friends really is in love with uh, foxes. So I made a duplicate of not this one but the other one. But this is just like a cute little circle flat pack charm. But I made her a duplicate of this one for her keys or whatever she wanted it on. But they're really cute. Big fluffy tail. And then this is, this charm is actually inspired by like my, one of my favorite little um, artists, well, one of my favorite artists on Tumblr who um, has this adorable little comic. It says Sheldon the Tiny Dinosaur. And he's eating popcorn in this one. He's really cute looking. Little acorn shell. And then I made this little uh, teddy bear head. And a little turtle. I don't quite know what this is supposed to be, but I really like how it turned out. Um, it's like this little... I don't really know. Kind of like gnome guy, maybe? But I really like the red color that I somehow made. And then I made this little frog head. It's really bad. You can see the fingerprint and the eyes aren't colored very well the clay isn't totally blended but otherwise he's kind of cute um and then these are the charms that I actually made yesterday with my friend so the first one I made this little key cat white ear and then I made this little hello kitty ice cream scoop or ice cream cone, not just a scoop. I made this little, this is actually a ring, so it goes around your finger. Now you can see if I can show it properly. Here. Looks like this when you wear it. So I thought that was a cute idea. And then these are the big things that I'm really excited about because they turned out super awesome. So the first one I made was this one. So they're little octopuses. And they took actually a while for me to make because all the little suckers are individual and all the tentacles are individual. But they turn out really cool and they have spots on the back of their heads. Um, it took, let me, it took 16 eye pins and then 8 jump rings to make it. Um, but they're really cool, so that's kind of how the layout is. There's 7 around the base of the octopus's head, and then there's one in the middle. Here's the, another one that I made. Same color scheme. And then this one is actually my favorite. Um, it's my Halloween inspired one because Halloween as you probably know is my favorite holiday and it's made with like sparkly If you'll focus Come on camera But it's made with um, sparkly black clay and then orange for its other base color so Those are my charms that are in this charm update. I'm sorry it's so long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I'm so hoping to make more updates on charms that I'm making, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.